Welcome back watch bangers to another video of my toolbox series where I show you my tools which are usually in a box and today's video will be all about the contents of this mysterious wooden box which include my vintage mainspring winers which I found on eBay for 100 bucks it was a steal and I've not seen them there any ever since so if you want guys want to find them just keep your eyes open there's eight different drums and the appropriate cranks obviously and one holder and this video will be all about me just telling you how i use them the tips and tricks and what to watch out for basically now as i said before coming to the actual components um there's eight drums and they're labeled in different sizes from 7.1 or 96 to 17 i'm not sure if they're the the barrel inside diameters or the uh, crank diameters but i usually just wing it so i just don't really look at the numbers <laughs> Now, coming to the actual parts, first is the holder. Um, now, this has, you know, the retractable pressure at the end. It's got like a really cool ergonomic design, like this knurled pattern on the side. This top part is where the drum comes in and, you know, where the, where the drum hooks into the slots there. So you can hold the whole mainspring winder in one hand. And yeah, so this is the holder. And now fitting to the holder, we have all these drums. Let's just take one. I think this is the size 17. Um, now all these parts are made out of stainless steel, which is nice because all the Chinese ones nowadays are like out of copper. Now this part is also divided in two pieces. We have the actual drum. This is where the mainspring will get wound into and what, you know, pushes it into the mainspring barrel again and the end with this little pusher in the end here. And then we have this little metal metal protrusion which hooks into the slot on the holder and this is basically you know to keep it safe not that it you know wiggles around and you know the pusher on the end here can be used so when you press it down it engages the pusher on the barrel which then pushes the floor of the barrel up and the mainspring into the mainspring barrel now coming to the spring cranks um these have like a you know the the arbor in the middle and the crank on top which also like acts like a lid and they are i think on my model bi-directional so i can wind them in both directions um i'm not sure though i've tried it a few times it's been working but i mean as long as it works it's fine so you just have to w watch out for that if the ones you buy are bi-directional or not um th that can be you know recognized depending on the hooks on the barrel arbors on the arbors i'm sorry and we'll go into those now a little close-up shot you can see the little metal protrusion there on the arbor that's the hook which latches into the mainspring slot um, in the center and basically turns the mainspring in the drum while you turn the crank and um these i think winders are from Bowley because there's a b on on the holder for example and um on the drums as well on i think each drum as well there on the on the little floor there's a little b marking these are a bit more worn off because the mainspring is obviously in there but yeah i'm pretty sure these are from boldly um and as a little small demonstration how you use these we have the the mainspring basically and you have the little center center hole where the arbor gets pressed in um these do seem a bit tight so i'm getting one size smaller off camera here i'm just trying it um, yeah, definitely once I'm smaller, I apologize. Um, so yeah, so basically you press this in, it should be tight. It shouldn't be too tight, but it should, you know, it should be, there should be some friction basically. And, um, you align the hook with the slot on the mainspring so it can, you know, hook in easily. So you press it down here, press the mainspring all the way down to the bottom of the arbor where the hook is obviously. And, um, if... It doesn't latch in automatically you can always use your tweezers to manually um you know lift the coil so the hook can hook into the latch on the mainspring uh, just be careful here of not to kink the mainspring or damage it because you know stuff happens <laughs> um yeah so basically once that is done just make sure mine isn't fully fully hooked in yet um but usually even if it's not hooked in but on the same height it should be fine because once you turn it the hook will eventually find its place now you have the holder the appropriate drum and then you put the the crank on top with the spring and make sure that the spring there is in the slot 
on the side of the drum and then you just start turning just start turning in the direction you want the mainspring to be wound usually just i just take pictures of the mainspring before i take it out of the uh, mainspring barrel to see you know to know what direction i have to wind it in you know you wind it you wind it you wind it and eventually because my winders here are also a bit old the lid isn't you know completely parallel to the drum so the the mainspring sometimes just you know just snaps out which is kind of bad but i'm just careful <laughs> so yeah um and once it's in you just reverse your crank to make sure that the hook unlatches from the mainspring and just do that a couple of times then you just carefully lift the crank up from the drum i usually use tweezers here because sometimes the center coil likes sticking to the arbor because you know there is some friction there and it is tightly pressed um so when you if you press it out if you just push it out or press it or pull it out it might happen that the whole mainspring comes out and everything just flies around so you just carefully press it up as you can see the mainspring is protruding a bit but you just press it down again with the tweezers to make sure that that stays in the actual drum and once you're confident just slowly pull it out and that's basically the job done you see the the mainsprings back wound in the drum it's nice and nice and round and sparkly clean i mean it wasn't dirty in the first place but it's nice and even there's no kinks from you know hand winding it or potential kinks um and yeah you have the mainspring barrel here you press out the pressure on the back and then you put the front of the drum inside of the mainspring barrel which you have lubricated and then you just press down the top here so let's do that in three two one press and that's it that basically presses the floor of the drum up and the mainspring into the barrel and yeah that's the job done so yeah um these are my mainspring winders it, that was probably a lot of info it is very confusing um yeah uh so i hope you guys still enjoyed i always recommend doing it by hand first there's also 3d printed versions now i'm not a big fan of those because um i did try them and also tried designing my own but it just didn't work out for me it just it was just too fiddly and you know problem ridden oh i put in the the lid here the wrong way but i hope you guys still learned something questions comments criticism put them down below um yeah tell me guys what kind of watch winders you have and yeah, I'll see you in the next toolbox video.